Hello guys, I am Ankit in this video we shall see another problem on little code. Maximum number of balloons. So given string text, you want to use the characters of text to form as many instances of word balloon as possible. So you can use each character in the text at most once and return the maximum number of instances that can be formed. So what they said is they have given a text and it contains some characters and we have to find how many number, how many instances of word balloon can be possible that can be created from the given text and they have also told like each character in the text you can use it at most once if you have this b only once you can use this b uh, for the next uh, another word you cannot use that b alone so that is what they have given the constraint and how do we got, get to know that um, how many number of instances are possible for for example uh, we know like balloon means b a l l o n so whatever text they give that should contain all these characters all these characters if all these characters are present once then one instance of balloon can be done one instance let's say if the text contains in this case b let's take this example now so in this if you see n n is present once then l l once then a once a once all represent or increment or twice then move to here e so it's not present that is once then b so b is also once again one more b so incremented two two b are present then o o is not present so o will be once then l l will be incremented two because already one is present then k k is not present once then again o, o will be incremented to 2. So whatever the characters required for balloon here in this case are e is not required, n is required, l is required, a is required, b is required, o is required, b a l l o n. So to form a word balloon, we need one character of b, a also one required, l two characters are required, then o and n. Both are ones. So not uh, once. Uh, o is required twice. Okay. Um, it's B A L L O N, right? So O is required twice. Here it should be balloon. Balloon. So balloon. Two O. Two L. One B A N. These are the number of characters and the frequencies required to form the word balloon. So in the given example, if you see, uh, we have one B. Yes, one A. So if you consume one B, it will decrement to one. Okay, A. How many you have? Two you have. One you consume. So decrement one uh, A by one position. One then L. L two required. So consume 2 also it will become 0 o how many o 2 o and we consume 2 also it will become 0 n we consume 1 it will become 0 so yes one instance of balloon not possible from the given text for the second instance let's check again 1 b yes we have 1 b decrement to 0 consume it a if you check a yes we have a consume it l that is required 2 but we have 0 so normally we got to know only one instance of balloon is possible that is what we need to return the answer so this is how we solve the problem but the, how logically we implement this solution for the given problem so with the given thing here we'll have a variable okay b count b count then a count l count o count so then what other letter is n count so let all of them be initialized to 0. All of them are initialized to 0. And they have given the string, right? We start iterating to the string. Just increment the values corresponding. If it is n, n count get incremented to 1. Corresponding. So what do we get? At the end, we get this only. Initially, whatever we had, that only we will get. E1, N1, L, L will be 2, A will be 2, B will be 2, K will be 1, O will be 2 whatever there in the white color text so that is the count you get in this right 
So once you get this count and yeah, K and the K and other characters you need not to bother. K and E. We'll not be writing that. So remove that. Only the required characters, whichever required for the given text, given string to be formed, balloon, that is only we take into account. So B count will be 2, then A count will be 2, L count by the end we get 2, O count also we get 2, N count will be how much? 1. So this is the count what we get for the given string. Okay, I just copied the text here. So this is what we get for the given string here, right? Now what we do is, after iterating you get this, after iterating to the string, you get the count, e count, a count, l count, o count, n count. So how do you know an instance of balloon can be formed with the given number of characters of different letter? For that, uh, it will be nothing but, see, balloon count should be 1, then balloon, okay. Let me just write it as balloon, then A required 1, and this count should be 1. L and O, this should be of 2. To make one instance of balloon, this is a requirement. Okay, so what you check is, this is nothing but minimum of whatever, balloon count or B count, A count, N count, then L by 2 count and uh, O by 2 count. Why are we taking L by 2, O by 2? Because for a given instance, one instance of balloon, we require one letters of one character of B, A, N, but two characters of L by 2, L, L and O. So that's why you divide it by 2. So if you have 1, 1, 1, so you have 2 by 2, 2 by 2. So what it give you? 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1. So if all are 1, then 1 instance is possible. Okay? So that is how we solve the problem. So in the given second example, if you check. Okay? If you take this example now. Let's see. How many instances of water 1? So L. Initially, we start with L. So, B, A, L, O, N. B, how much is present? 1, 2, 2. Then A count, 1, 2. L count, 1, 2, 3, 4. O count, 1, 2, 3, 4. N count, 1, then 2. So, let's do the minimum like this. B, A, N. Minimum of B, A, N. B. 2 comma 2 comma n is 2 l count is 4 by 2 and n uh, o count is also 4 by 2 so minimum of all this what 2 comma 2 comma 2 comma 2 comma 2 so what do we get is 2 that means 2 instances of balloon can be found from the given text string so that's why we take the minimum and l by 2 o by 2 is because for us one instance of balloon we require 2 letters 2 characters of l and o that is the reason so this is the approach to solve the problem. But if you take other example like this, uh, in this example only, we had extra count of uh, B and A here, 1, 1. But O, L and N were 0. L and N were 0. O was also 0. So we cannot form the instance of the balloon, second instance of the balloon. Okay. So, if I need to tell that, what we got here is B1, A1, L2, that was a required instance, but what we got is B, okay, let's do the minimum here, so minimum of 2 comma 2 comma L by 2, oh, N will be 1, uh, then 2 by 2 for L and 2 by 2 for O, so 2 comma 2 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1, so minimum is 1. This is why we can form only one instance. Though we have extra B and extra A, one extra here, but these are not sufficient. No sufficient L and O and N are present. That's why only one instance is possible. So let's quickly implement the logic. I'll 
as I said, we'll have a variable all the counts. So I have written all the counts initialized to 0, B, A, L, O, N. So now I try for each character C in text. If character equal to equal to B and they have told all are in the lower case only. So that is not a problem. So B count will be incremented. Else if what if character equal to equal to A, then A count will be incremented. Okay, all the B, A, L, O, N have written. And else if condition you have to give, else condition don't give. Because if you give else condition on X and P also, here A, K, all the counts will get incremented. That will be a problem. So, so after doing this, next what should be done? So next, whatever count you have to return. So let's say int count equal to minimum of. So we'll put a flower packer so all the counts we can take in B count, A count, and for L count what's did I tell? So L count by two we have to do. Similarly for O also, O count by two, comma N count because L and O are appearing twice. So return count. So we will run this. Yeah. And for Java also, same logic. LO account, increment account correspondingly. And one more major thing here, uh, in C++ at a time we can put a flower bracket and do that. But here in Java what we need to do. So at first you find the innermost minima. Okay, here is the innermost minimum, B and A count. Then come the minimum of those two will be with the N count minimum. Then minimum of those two will be the L by L count by two comma minimum. The minimum of those two will be with the O. So like this, we have to do because minimum can take a, a, approx two parameters even in C plus plus also. But we had used the flower packet and entire thing we had passed in that case. Like this. So we'll submit this. Yes, successfully submitted. If you understood the concept, please please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll come up with another video in the next session. Until then, keep learning. Thank you.